thing is so cool. Started. Sis, that thing's so sweet. I it under the bed and the motor it's hard. Hard. Oh, wow, bro. Hey. Can I get yeah. one more? You know, you'll have all your presents yeah. open today. Yes, exactly. All right. No, well, her birthday's tomorrow, but she wants to open everything today. Well, you can, I figured that you could build that because you have your other one. Now you have three race cars. Hey, it's got all the brands now. Right? And now we can pick and choose. I thought the finish line was supposed to be like here, no? It's not right, bro. Walker's is right, bro. I think she is, bro. What's wrong with it? So, check map is wrong, bro. Oh, in this section right here? You're welcome. It's uh, just leaves. Literally, it just leaves. That whole, the whole track used to be like that. Thursday before the national at Redbud, and we came out for practice. Uh, I originally wasn't gonna ride, but I love this track. It's one of my favorite, and I've always said it like practicing is one of the best. It's actually, in my personal opinion, it's probably the best facility in the world uh, for racing. So, you got your bike. I can ride today. There's some classes for me, so so that'd be fun. I haven't rode per level, you know, national track in geez, long time since 15. Actually, I like end of when was that? End of 18. I rode uh, Indiana. Jeez, I gotta forget that. A couple hole shots, top five off the couch. Anyway, no racing for me. Just practice. down the back of my throat. <laughs> One of the kids ran into you spaghetti. Oh, right <laughs> over in the rollers? Yeah. It was so sketchy. Tate's gonna hate it. I mean, it's it's sandy, but it's like deep, you know? And you have to ride it. Again, it's not that it's sandy, it's more that the way it's prepped, you have to ride it like a sand track. He's gonna, he's gonna hate it. This track's so cool. Like, for the most part, the first lap, like, memory comes back. You remember the size of the jump and... That, that, that always trips me out for somebody that's been gone for, you know, especially for motocross. Like, I hadn't rode here since 15. And still, like, for the most part, judging all the jumps was the same.
No motocross. Yeah. You just got real old outside. The insides are so ruddy. You got it? I think you got it. Dude, you know what's gonna happen? What? I'm gonna go or making some changes. Well obviously my bike has like kind of pro like a pro setup. And then whenever I go ride like the amateur tracks, they just the bumps are so small and so many of them and so close together, so you have to obviously adjust to that pro stuff it's more like they're you know accelerating and then the braking is all in one area which is always right before the turn and so now it's more it's more like pro pro bumps like they're bigger rounder and so you can kind of set the bike up a little bit more like a pro bike so all right try not to get roosted this time the face is what I rely on and obviously it's been since 2015 that I've jumped it but that memory immediately comes back and so like I'm wide open and you're just tapping into old memory and you're just like I this feels right I think I got it <laughs> and then you just stay in it and then honestly it's so easy but you it's just not a jump that you can jump a little bit and get an understanding of it it's literally you have to go off of one if you've never been here before you just have to follow somebody or you're just a really good jumper and you understand what to do but truthfully as long as you get a clean shift of four, uh, third on a 450 you just go wide open and I didn't know that I was far go as far as saying that anyone can do that but for the most part a lot of the the thinking is out of it now you just have to get the turn right shift third hold a wide open and you're good to go <laughs> so now I can sleep I'm good I kick that block I did leave a thousand laps of the freaking pits like I'm like you're still important. Still important. Still important. I mean you're still important to the me. The only one and the first one to do the leap this weekend. You are so bad. Nobody can take that away from me. No. Nope. When you're retired, 40 and washed up, there's far and his far and few things in between that you can still claim and hold on to. So, how's the black wood chips? It's gnarly. I'm like trying to dump yeah. it, but it just goes. I'm like, so oh my god. The whole track used to be like that. Okay. So now, when you say, you know, when you hear me like, ah, I'm not really that big of a fan of wood chips, now you get a little bit of an understanding. Imagine that, like, and it's just like every turn's like that, and so it's like every, like, so when you're trying to pass someone, it's so hard to make, like, yeah. go around the outside.
there. Yeah. Um, then you go like down there. I was like going outside, but I cut in so it was choppier on the outside. Yeah. And then the next section, I would go like go full outside. And then just cut in and I was, yeah. I was going so fast. That was nice. Our coaches, um, we have Tad Reed. Tad Reed is, uh, Tad, I believe that you will agree with me, we didn't rehearse this, but Tad was not afraid to come and tell us when we did not do a good job or when he felt things needed to be better. But I give Tad a lot of credit because he listened too and he was reasonable. And, and for the most part, he was reasonable. Um, and now that he's a parent, and he he went through it and came the hard way. You know, he came from across the pond to the United States and did it the hard way. But Chad brings a great perspective. And Chad, we're grateful that you're here with us. I'm, I'm actually excited to see how the group is. You know, like obviously, you know, Chance and and Ryder last year were, were, were a big step ahead of everybody. I think this year, clearly Chance is still the guy, and I hate to name names because I know all of them, but I don't know all of them. Um, but there's a lot of talented kids. I think, uh, I think it'll be good. But yeah, I mean, if you're a betting man and you want to take experience and, and one of the one of the guys who's been here and done it and won motos in, at this level, um, Chance is that guy. <laughs> You all, I'm sure, know that. It's like 30 second board goes up, goes sideways. I think it's 5 to 10 seconds at that point. 5 to 10 seconds. It crosses over really bad. Like the outside comes over to the left and then the inside goes out to the right. So it's kind of like it does a real big cross. And you guys can see, obviously, like right here in the middle, how bumpy it is compared to like on the inside or moving over this way a little bit. So. For the most part, that's tomorrow. It's going to be just like that. It doesn't matter how much roost you get, any roost, and it ruins your tear off right here with this. So like, this this track's pretty notorious for being hard on tear offs and, and vision. So like, any time that you can cross and get out of the the roost is 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 kind of nice too. I don't know if you guys have watched videos, but like some of it, obviously, you know, they rip the outsides. I don't know. That, that might go away a little bit, but I, I think for the most part, like if that's the line, it'll kind of. From videos I've seen, I say go outside, inside, yeah. or just middle, because the inside gets yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. Well, this thing was so bumpy on the inside, but the outside was like It was like a freeway. You could go outside and You just have to be careful that the outside, It sometimes it looks so awesome and it goes to nowhere. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. going like crappy. fading and then cutting up he, to the inside. They might, see how he, he might build up a, a wall up, so we might get a little lucky. I guess he ain't playing. He's got a job to do. <laughs> like, I've heard that they may not want you guys necessarily doing the leap, so they might make it all deep. Uh, so we'll see. I don't think anyone's gonna do it. I'm not gonna think I'm gonna make it. If it's anything like today, no one's gonna do it. You know, I could flood you with a bunch of information and you're just gonna be yawning and you're gonna be like thinking, what the hell, you know? But like, so it's, it's about just giving you, like for me, I think it's more important you guys ask and I can give what you what you want, you know? Of course, when I see things from a writing standpoint, I'll help you guys. I'll see it, I'll try to help you, give you some tips, all those things, but all the finer details of pro racing, it's hard to give it to you to try tomorrow because it would be drastically, possibly changing things. You know? All right, awesome first day here at uh, Red Bud. It's been since 2015 that I rode here, so it was really enjoyable to get out there, like what I would consider damn near, if not like the very best facility track in the world. The feels all come back, you know, like tracks and dirts and, and things like that. They have a certain feel to them. It's hard to explain that. Um, and it just like right away the first lap, you know, like judging the jumps, uh, it just was really easy. Like it's, it, it's really crazy for me to, you know, go away for, for a while. And, and like I said, not be here since 15. And then yet my first lap, how in tune and how you 
you can judge and understand like everything feels kind of like you had you were only here last year and that that always blows my mind it's really hard for me to understand that um so yeah we had fun tate and i rode today uh the 65 and 85 uh group were together um and so so we chose to not put kyer out there today with the 85s um but she'll probably likely race on sunday so um and then i got to you know see my team uh with the combine um a lot of those kids rode today so it was kind of nice when we walked the track uh the group that i had i think all but two of them uh you know got to do practice today a little bit so i think that'll help going into tomorrow um and so yeah we're excited you know tate take out his first taste you know of the pro level track he was tripping on how deep it was um and then some of the jumps you know they got some really big faces and he did some of those jumps so i think i think for the most part we all had a you know good time and uh yeah it's got an early morning practice for combine is at 8 a.m sharp so uh gonna get a good night's sleep and hopefully my team can uh, crush it tomorrow